this block here, this is what starts your program. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to drag in this flow block here. This is a loop. And we're going to keep it unlimited. So what this means is anything that runs in this program, it's just going to keep cycling through. It's never going to stop until we actually physically hit the stop button on the robot. And we're just going to do um, a couple really simple things here. We're going to drag in a switch block. This is going to help your robot make a decision. And your robot's going to need a color sensor. And so we'll make sure you have that squared away. And you can look at the robot video um, to, to see how my robot is using the color sensor underneath. And we're going to go to color just because the board is so simple. It's either black or white. There's not a whole lot of issue where we have to deal with reflected light and things like that. And we're going to have the default case up here for black. So what this program is saying right now is it's going to start, it's going to go into this loop, and the robot's going to make a decision. If it, it reads the color black, that's going to say true, and it's going to go up here. And what we're going to do then is we're going to have our robot go straight. Now you have to change these letters to the ports that you've plugged your cables into. And so um, you can just keep it in B and C as your motor ports. Um, so we have that. And we're going to switch this to on, meaning that the robot's never, it's going to go straight and it's just going to keep going. This is your direction. Here is your speed. So it's going to go here into the loop. Does it see black? Yes, it sees black. Motor's on going straight at 50 power. And then it's going to come back out of this loop and it's going to go all the way back around and it's going to make the next decision. Now, we do not want our robot to fall off the board because if we do, then we lose. So we're going to drop down here and we're going to choose white because the border of our mat is white. And what we're going to do here is the same thing. Think about it. So if we see black, we want to go straight because we were looking to find a, a robot. But if we see white, that means we're on the edge of the border. And so we want to turn our motors off. We don't want it to go. We want it to come to a stop. And that right there is the sample code. Now a couple things for you to think about. In here, once your robot stops, what do you want your robot to do? Do you want it to go backwards? And if you want it to go backwards, you could stick in another code here. And this time, it's going to be on for rotations, maybe one rotation. But if I want to go backwards, i got to make this a negative number. So I'll make that negative 50, so it's going to go backwards for one number. You know, and then maybe I'm going to add in this block here, and I'm going to turn this on. Oh, for one rotation, and now I want to do a point turn. So I could go one wheel forward, one wheel backwards, and that caused it to spin really quick. The other way I could do this is I could also use another move steering block again, like we've been doing. And I could turn this on for rotations, and I could adjust the turn to the right or left this way another option of turning. And so you kind of have some different options here in terms of how you want to turn your robot. Okay, the other thing that you could think about is if you have an attachment and you want your robot to do that, depending on if you're using a medium or a large motor, you can add that into this as well. And so um, you could go through and you could add another switch block right after this movement right in here maybe you have an ultrasonic sensor and you want to compare that anything less than okay then i don't know we'll say 10 centimeters if it detects something less than 10 centimeters what do you want it to do maybe you have some sort of arm mechanism on a large motor you could have that come on here for rotations, and maybe it's you only need 0.5 of a rotation, and you want that motor to turn on and off. And so then you could go through this way and program it to go up and down or sideways or whatever it is you want. And if it's not less than 10 centimeters, you just still want your robot to go straight because you don't need it to do anything. And so you can start to get really clever here in your programming. 
So this is just some food for thought for you to kind of think about what it is you want to do with your robot. The starter code, just the basics, will be on the website for you to download. And we look forward to seeing what you create and what you come up with. Best of luck.